answering two questions I'm sure will happen right off the bat. The first, for those who haven't watched Super, this is Hit. He's an assassin from another universe who fought Goku. For the other question, how do you unlock him? Wish from the Dragon Balls. With that out of the way, just a little thing if you haven't seen one of these videos before. I'm judging all these attacks based on their aesthetics and the feel they present, not on their effectiveness. The more awesome something is, the more awesome I will say it is. Even if the move is completely useless in an actual fight. With that said, Hit's melee attacks are pretty... standard. There's not much to them. They're really quick and snappy as you'd expect an assassin to have. Uh, it'd be nice if they had that effect that happened in the anime when he punched something and out the back he got a nice purple burst of energy, but yeah, these are normal attacks, I guess he doesn't get to that. He doesn't seem to show off any real speed or anything in his attacks outside of how he makes them. Only one pursuit, so the majority of his attacks he just knocks you away. I guess he's just that confident that after he's punched you, you're dead. There's no need to continue this fight anymore. And in that regard, I think it's pretty cool and gives him a nice sense of style and certainly helps differentiate him from the normal fighting styles we get from other characters given that yes, he is an assassin who wants to kill people rather than just someone who's fighting. He has an objective to kill you in as few hits as possible, so why bother going out and chasing someone? He knows he's killed you at this point. There's no need. For the supers, eh, the first two are stock. Although I will comment that he seems to be one of the few characters I've seen so far that actually has maximum charge as their charge move rather than full power or something else. So that's definitely a plus. Uh, the sledgehammer? Eh, it's a stock move. There's nothing real to it. I mean, I would have liked better if he had something more unique to him. But, that's where the other two come in. This one's more unique to hit. You can clearly see he's using his time leap power here to sort of do a little feint. This may be a counter. I didn't actually test it, and I'm sorry. But, that being said, by itself as it is, it still looks pretty cool. Is that it? After that we have something that sort of works like a little after image thing where he clearly is freezing time and just moving out of the way and then coming back right afterwards so it's basically looks like he just sort of disappears and doesn't get hit and as you can see you can keep chaining it for a while. How long you can do it outside of practice I don't know don't care it's still a fun little thing. Especially when it's after you finish, you get, he actually has a nice little quip to taunt you as if you really can't hit him. Is that it? Nope. But of course, we come to the ultimate. Basically, he pummels you while time is frozen, and yeah, you don't notice until time's caught up with you where you get hit by all of them at once. Kinda reminds me of Foxy from One Piece in that regard. But anyway, the real badass thing about this attack, it shows very nice attention to detail, is when I was playing with my friends and used hit, I actually wanted to test something with them. That being, when I use this ultimate, what do they see me doing? Now, I don't have any footage of this because they haven't unlocked hit yet, but apparently what they told me is that I was just standing there in front of the other guy and we were just looking at each other and nothing seemed to happen. And then the other guy flew off, basically meaning that the other players do not see your ultimate go off, which makes sense because time's actually frozen in that moment. And that to me is the best part of that ultimate. They actually included that time would be frozen for other people in that moment, and it looks like you're not punching them while you're currently pummeling the crap out of them. And then they fly off for seemingly no reason. You know, no one else does. And that, to me, is the best part of this ultimate, is that other players do not get to actually see it because you're in your own little time-frozen world. Overall, I think Hit has a pretty awesome moveset here. It seems to highlight the assassination parts on his melee attacks, and he used good use of his powers. So that's it for this moveset. Coming up next will be the person I was pummeling in this video. Also, if you have any character in particular you want me to go over sooner, leave it down below in the comments or send me a message on Twitter. Till then, see ya.